Happy Monday, everybody. Last week was characterized by code-level shenanigans, some of which involved geeth reorgs, all of which I don't really understand. We're going to try and cover that in a future video, but there's a whole bunch of stuff going on involving many, many blocks of reorganization. Don't know what's going on there. Do you understand? But the big story was chain swap and any swap, both of which were exploited, both of which were a big deal, actually, as it turned out. But before we get into that, first, a quick word from our sponsor, Nexo. With the fast-paced nature of the crypto industry, more and more wealth-building platforms are entering the market. So it's only natural to be confused about who to trust and where to hold your assets. That's why we're introducing Nexo, the world's leading digital assets institution. Being one of the safest options out there, Nexo fully protects and insures your assets for up to $375 million. You can buy crypto directly on the web platform or mobile app and start earning up to 12% interest on your idle assets. They also allow you to borrow against your crypto from 6.9% APR. And the best thing is your credit line becomes instantly available with no credit checks. You can even buy, sell and swap 100 or so crypto and fiat pairs with zero price fluctuations. So if you're looking for a place where you can maximize the power of your crypto while having all of your assets insured, then check them out by visiting nexo.io. So it was a case of lightning definitely striking twice for cross-chain protocols as both AnySwap and ChainSwap, protocols that feature routing in and out of BSC, were exploited within 24 hours of each other. Routing, routing, you say potato, I say brain. AnySwap was the first to be attacked via its new prototype version 3 multi-chain router. The attacker was able to deduce the private key of the router's MPC account and relieve it to the tune of 2,398,496.02 USDC and 5,509,222.73 MIM. MPC, if you didn't know, stands for multi-party computation. And it's a way for parties to jointly compute a function over their inputs while keeping those inputs private. It's a big deal for cryptography. Yes, it is and now it's been exploited. Now the exploit only affected the prototype router and not the existing V1 and V2 ones. AnySwap is offering full compensation though. Soon after, news broke that ChainSwap had also been exploited. It happened again. The protocol was actually pooned to the tune of $800,000 earlier in the month, but like all good things in crypto, exploiters decided to 10X their efforts and ran off with $8 million in ill-gotten gains. The attack was first picked up by N30, a developer at Wilder World, which is an NFT startup backed by YouTuber Jake Paul. As if that matters with the attacker managing to steal 20 million wild, which is Wilder World's native token. According to their analysis, the vulnerability enabled the tokens to be minted directly to the attacker's address from a factory root address. Oops. But many more projects were also affected by the exploit and a snapshot of the hacker's wallet paints a pretty savage picture. Now this is a sober warning about the perils involved in bridging meaningful amounts of capital between chains. There's nothing you can do about it, it's gone, it's had. And it does make me wonder how security will be handled between something like parachains on Polkadot or Kusama, for instance. Will it be better? Will it be less good? I don't know. I saw reaches across the room. So that was your quick take for today. Our multi-chain future is sure to be blamed by hundreds, if not thousands more exploits. And with each one, we learn more. But I will leave you with the words of the hackers behind the first attack on Chainswap after the team reached out to ask for the return of the funds. Sorry for the trouble, you found genuinely like great people, but money is money. Yes, it is. But what, I ask you, is money? Oh, and if you read about Chainswap, you'll no doubt see journalists declaring with great glee that it's Alameda backed. <laughs> Remember, Wilder World was Jake Paul backed. Schadenfreude. It's not really the best look in 2021. At least I don't think so. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, you beautiful people. See ya!